Hello, this is Kylie Koo. Today I'm going to be showing how I use the jelly plate for printing. Really, I'm just going to demonstrate some very basic techniques, although the jelly plate is in fact very easy to use. So let's get started. We'll get the plate opened up and uh, first off is to uh, bring out a, a range of papers. Now you can use basically anything at all on the jelly plate. Anything from copy paper through tags, labels, uh, old envelopes and indeed previous pages that have been printed on. You can also use newsprint but be careful for the ink coming off onto the plate itself. By way of paints I tend to use acrylics, craft paints. I understand that you can also use watercolours although I haven't tried that myself but uh, I'm hoping to do that sometime in future. So first off you load up the jelly plate with, uh, I, I like to put two or three colours on at a time but uh, it really just depends how I feel. I brayer that around just to move the paint and I wipe any excess paint usually onto a journal. It's then a case of taking a page, laying it down on top of the jelly uh, plate, rubbing it over, making sure you kind of smooth it out so that it grabs all the paint and then lifting it up. Hey ho, you have a lovely print comes off that with the different colours. You can never quite anticipate uh, how it's going to look. What I then do is I lay a second sheet of paper onto the plate, again smooth it out. And this is what's often referred to as being the ghost print. Now I sometimes think that some of the ghost prints look as nice as uh, the very first print that you take. You tend in most cases to get less paint on it unless your plate has been loaded up with a lot of paint. But uh, it just makes sure that you're using that excess paint and as I say it can give you a nice print. So let's, let's load up again. Again a couple of colours at this stage and I think it looks really nice but I brayer it perhaps just a bit too long and it goes slightly dark so I'll lighten it up with some light blue. And again uh, I'm going to take a print from this but beforehand what I do is I take a stencil. This is one of my favourite stencils and I have used it before with the jelly plate. So I lay that down. I just brayer it down to make sure that it's firm against the plate although the paint that's on top of there will also come off when I put the sheet of paper down. So I'm taking a piece that I've already uh, used uh, with the jelly uh, plate, firming that down just to make sure the paint comes through. Then I lift it up and you'll see here that you have the various shapes from the stencil coming through as well as the colours that were already on the piece of paper. Uh, this adds a nice depth and texture to the, the print. So I then take the stencil off and you'll see there's still plenty of paint there and you'll see uh, the, the, the pattern still there too. So I'm taking a plain sheet, it's plain on the reverse side of this piece of paper and I'm lifting this and I think this is a really nice piece. There's still a lot of colour there to be grabbed and it's grabbed the pattern very well. So I'm looking forward to using this because I'm sure I can see a, a fish there in, in that piece. Taking my journal again and just try to grab any excess paint that's left on the plate. Uh, it's always good to use up paint and, and not to waste any at all. And again you just see at the bottom of the picture there that the pattern from the stencil has in fact transferred to my journal as well. Now you can actually wipe the plate over at this point if you wanted. You could wash it or wipe it with a baby wipe but I like to keep going and using it and this is where a bit of the, the magic of the jelly plate happens. So I put blue and white on there, breared it out, putting a piece of paper down, lift it up and here's what we have. It's lifted the blue and the white but what we also get here is some of the colours that were still remaining. So there's some reds and the deeper blues from earlier and indeed there's still some of the pattern from the stencil. So 
really giving a nice uh, finish on that previous piece. Again, just taking a piece, smoothing it over. It's cheap paper, so you will see some wrinkles appearing, but that doesn't matter. And lifting this piece. And again, that just gives a bit of added depth and contrast to the paper. Still some pieces of pattern coming out and that will make an interesting piece for perhaps a, a collage or something in the future. So I'm going to load up with more paint here, then I'll brayer it out. You can use other tools to, to uh, smooth out the paint, a soft paint brush or a palette knife. I just use the brayer because it's, it's pretty quick. But what I'm taking now is a cotton bud or a Q-tip and just making some lines on it. There are some tools specially made for the jelly plate but uh, I just use what I have to hand. Main thing is just to use things that are soft, nothing sharp that might actually damage the plate. So just using a plastic uh, palette knife at this point and just making a few patterns on the plate really just doing this to demonstrate the type of thing that you can do so not thinking too much about what I'm actually putting on here. So again it's a case of taking a piece of paper in, in, in this case, laying it down and just going over to make sure that it grabs the paint, lifting up and then you'll see that what we're left with here is the colours but also within that the patterns that are made with those two uh, implements. So quite like the colours, this piece is growing on me now. I'm now taking an old envelope that I'm going to recycle and I'm going to show something in a future video about what uh, can be done with these envelopes. So I've taken that off, it's a ghost print and actually I really quite like that. Uh, I think it's given quite an interesting uh, effect on that old recycled envelope. Again, just taking off any excess onto my journal to make sure that no paint's wasted. Here I just put down one colour and you can still see there's some stuff coming through from before. And then I'm putting the other colour on top. It can just give a slightly different effect when uh, rolling it out. So here I've taken the, an old top off something. I've made sure that it's not sharp so it doesn't damage the jelly plate. And I'm just making uh, marks all across the plate. Just making these circles and then taking a slightly smaller top from something and again just going all across the plate making some smaller circles across it all. Then what I'll do is to take a piece of paper again. Again it's that same basic technique of just laying the piece of paper on, smoothing it over and then lifting it up and you can see the result here. And I was really quite pleased with this one. I liked the way the colours played together and just the way that the circles stood out from it. So I may use that for collage or I may uh, actually work that up into something more. Now taking an index card and uh, a couple of very small tags and just placing them on. I'm going to use the brayer on top of it just to make sure that they're, they're making full contact with the plate. There was paint on the back of my brayer but that's fine, I always like to paint the back of my tags and index cards anyway. Makes them a bit stronger and also gives interest on the reverse side. I'm lifting those, I'm sorry it's not terribly well in the picture, in the frame, but you can see that uh, the circles in particular are lifting up and a nice design on those. The same with the index card. Now you have to be careful with the length of time that you let your paper contact with the plate because if you leave it too long it can actually stick a bit, especially with cheaper papers, but there's no problem in cleaning it off. So just using the excess paint up here on this particular index card. And again, I just loading up with some more paint, taking two or three colours if I can get them out of the, the tubs here and again I'll just brayer that out and here I'm going to take the, the cotton bud, the q-tip and just do some quick drawings. Now you can really take your time and do some quite interesting drawing uh, I'm just doing this for demonstration. The one thing you need to be careful is if the environment around you is, is quite warm, quite hot the paint can dry quite quickly. 
but in the Kailaku studio that day it wasn't too warm so there was no problem taking a bit of time just to play about with it. So again, quite an interesting design there. And I'm now taking a piece, oh I beg your pardon, I'm taking my uh, another stencil, placing it down and I'm just going to take those cards uh, and see if I can get some of the dots that come through from the stencil onto that. So those are coming through and again just gives a bit of depth and texture to uh, the index card. So lifting that particular mask, that stencil off, you can see the dots are still there on the plate and I'm now taking uh, a piece that I previously jelly printed on, rubbing it over, pulling it off and you'll see that some of that design actually comes out on here. So there's part of the flower that uh, I'd already drawn and the dots from the stencil. And that I think is really quite a nice and interesting piece and I'm, I'm looking forward to doing something with that. So grabbing the excess paint here, uh, there's really not much left on it at all but I'll always try and get it. So here are the pieces that I've printed today. When I get the jelly plate out I do tend to print a number of things uh, in a go because it's always nice to have that as material to play with uh, at a future date. The jelly plate's all, also great fun. If, if you're in a bit of a, a funk and you're not sure what to be doing then just getting the jelly plate out and having a bit of, pl of a play about with it uh, always gets me in the mood for doing other things and uh, it's it's an easy and quick way to make some nice patterns and some nice designs. Uh, yeah, a lot of fun. And now just a quick preview of the pages created today. And as I said earlier, I'll show how I actually go on to use these uh, in a future video. I'm also going to show you a page that I created fairly recently, a few months ago, uh, and uh, that was autumn leaves, used with jelly plate and real leaves from the garden. And you can find more information on how I created this particular page on my blog, and I'll leave the link to that below. So I hope you've enjoyed this short video, and uh, please join me again for future videos. Thank you.